Let's learn how to make a sliced text effect in Kittle right now. So I'm gonna add some text with the T button. I'm just gonna type in sliced. You can type in whatever you want. I'm gonna make this just a little bit bigger and then I'm gonna make it all caps and put it in the middle. Now I'm gonna go for a sans serif font with just a little bit of character to it. I love this North Road font. It's just one of my favorites. I love this thick condensed font. Now, the trick lies in using our new gradient feature. First thing I'm gonna do is duplicate my text. So over here in the layers panel, you can see I've labeled one as top and one as bottom. So this is gonna take two text copies. I'm gonna turn the bottom one off and select the top one. Then up in the color panel, instead of solid color, I'm gonna pick gradient color. I'm gonna select the bottom one, which is the left, and turn it off. So now you can see we have a transparent bottom. Now if I move these swatches close together, it creates a very precise line. Then I'm going to change the angle of that gradient to about 130. Again, you can experiment with this and get it kind of how you want. And what we're gonna do is the same thing with the bottom. So I've got the bottom text here, change it to gradient, pick the top color, which is the right one, turn it off, which honestly, this kind of looks pretty cool. Then I'm going to bring the bottom swatch and the top swatch closer to each other so I can get that really clean, precise cut look. Then I'm gonna give it that same 130 angle, okay? And now with that intact, you have your sliced text effect. Again, you can pick and choose where you want those swatches to kind of meet in the middle. Maybe you want a fuzzy, maybe you want a precise cut. Maybe you want to angle your text on the top or the bottom to make it look even more intense like it was sliced with a knife or something. Or perhaps you want to experiment with different fonts. The cool thing about this is if I select both of them together, then I don't have to worry about changing them one at a time. I can just go through and select any font I want and the same effect and the same angle will take place. So I hope you have a ton of fun with this sliced text effect.